Hi, welcome back to the channel and to episode 12 of the Lotus Esprit Diary. Uh, once again, back at the project shop where they've been uh, looking at the engine from the Esprit. Let's go and take a look and see what they've found. But every one of these valves, I knew when I um, took the cam covers off and I checked the valve clearances that we had a problem in bent valves because yeah. um, the uh, valve clearances on the inlets were all over the place, okay. which would indicate if a valve's not seating properly, yeah. You know the valve clearance is going to be yeah, much, yeah. much. So, uh, it's the, so it's the inlet valves. The inlet it? valves, yeah. And it's that this side, is it? Yeah, the larger valves. The ones with the, that's with the the kiss. So those are the kisses that I saw on the piston. Yes. Heads. Yeah. Yes. When, when, so I had the borescope. Yeah, you had the borescope. Yeah. You can, you can, yeah, you can, you can, you can see, see it on here, can't you? Yeah. yeah, these. That's the kiddie, yeah. Even, even though there's a kind of a depression anyway to sort of you know bit of clearance of the valves, it wasn't quite <laughs> quite yeah. enough to, to to do that. Yeah. yeah right. Well, it it had skipped the tooth. On the uh, on just, the crank, just on that pulley, on the crank pulley. Yeah, it, oh, okay. it's always the crank pulley rather than the cams. And yeah, then, and then it puts the cams out. So, so why didn't the exhaust valves hit as well then? Because it went one way. If it goes the other way, then oh, I see. it would have right, been. Okay. It would, yeah, yeah, the exhaust gotcha. valves would hit. Yeah. The valve, the valve time in themselves, uh, ca uh, cam to cam, was all right. It was just the crank that had slipped. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But nevertheless, you know, it's, it, what, it, what is. So it's new, new inlet valves and yeah, it'll be new inlet valves. I'm going to take all the valves out and check yeah. them and, yeah. and uh, you know lap them in and make sure they're okay. But it will be new, new exhaust, new inlet valves. I'm yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. The cam followers. Oh, the little bucket. Yeah, little, yeah. The buckets, and I've just gone through all the shin and just see uh, see where we're at with that. Yeah. And once it, the shims sit in there. And these cam carriers sit on top, mm. on top of there. So later on today, I will pull these. Um, I'll pull the inlet valves out and, um, mm -hmm. and check. Them. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of cleaned up the valve, the edge of the valve and the, and the uh. top of the piston. Isn't it? It's this protective layer of carbon. It's much nicer to have a, a dirty valve and straight than a clean valve and bent. Brackets. I mean, they don't feel uh, no, they're not damaged. Cool. It's just they like taking the coke off of them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Where the valves have are damaged. The yeah. pistons. It's going to take a lot to damage them. Yeah. And just kissing them like that. Is yeah. I don't expect to find anything because the bottom end of these engines are very strong. Yeah. Is that all sump from there downwards? Is yeah. It? Big one, isn't it? And there's a split there as well because it's a two-piece block. Right. Your sump's there. Your carrier's there, you, you crank, and then you got the block, the main block. The yeah. only other thing I'm worried, you know, I'm always a bit cautious about these engines. That's what these spaces are for, is to hold the liners down. Right. Because obviously an alley block and steel liners, yeah. you've got a seal at the bottom. Yeah. And if you're turning, if you're turning the engine over like this, you don't want to turn it over and have a, a liner pop up, because right. it would break the seal at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So James said you've got history with these engines, is that right? You um, yeah, many years, many years ago. Yeah, it's kind of what he said, but he wasn't quite so charitable. Yeah, well, we, we were. Um, I was involved with uh, the Vauxhall Rally team back in the mid '70s. Yeah. And we used to run these engines in uh, in the Vauxhall Chevette. Oh, okay. Not so much the end bottom end, but the top end. The yeah, 16, yeah. You know, the 16 yeah, valve yeah. head on the yeah. 2.3 engine. You used to get serious power out. Of Mm -hmm. uh, 275 brake horsepower, uh, which was fabulous in those days, yeah, yeah. in a little box of Chevette. <laughs> <laughs> was that Jimmy McRae period? Yes. Yeah, wow. Russell Brooks, Jimmy McRae, Will Sparrow, Roger Clark. Yeah. That yeah. was mid 70s, yeah. Yeah. This was a DTV. Yeah. So, yeah. The guy I made mechanic for, it was a guy called Penty Ericola. Right. Who was a Finn. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. yeah. Auricula demonstrates how not to set a fast time. However, he makes up for his indiscretion by setting fastest time on the next stage with a perfect display of driving. We started off with these engines with the 2.3 16 valves in the Magnum, Vauxhall Magnum, right, yeah. and Forenza. Yeah, yeah. And then they progressed to the uh, to the Chevette. Penti Auricola in his Vauxhall Chevette on his third attempt to win this grueling rally. There's the 
got the underside. We got to pull the pistons out yesterday. And, um, all right, so you, you pulled the piston because I, I wasn't sure you were going to do any of that, but you obviously realised that's got to be done. Is it? Yeah, well, I spotted something that I wanted to okay. investigate further. I'll show you here. Okay. This isn't as a result of what happened to you. Oh, this that's is, good to know. This has happened <laughs> before. Right, yeah. Now, something has found its way into the, cylind into the cylinder. Oh, okay. As you can see there, the marks in the cylinder head that match up with that. All uh, right, so I, yeah, so I saw that when it was covered in crud the other day and I yeah. thought there was a, I, you know, because it was covered in crud, I didn't well, know if it was just I'm crud. Well, I'm pleased I did take the piston now because what happens, you can see down the corner here, a piece has made its way down the bore uh, okay, so and, it's, pi and it's, it's picked up on the piston. Yeah. Well, luckily the rings were still loose, right. they hadn't um, seized up here because that's what normally happens. If it, if it picks up, yeah. it'll heat up and it'll it'll roll the edges over and jam the rings in. The rings weren't jammed, so this, I don't know how long this has been like this. Yeah, you can't tell I mean, if it's you something I've had you since You really since can't I, tell. Well, I, I don't know, what, could have been grit sort of getting down there or? No, not that shape. It's metal, was it? It's metal, something in there, a small screw or something or. Oh gosh, some, something. Well, we saw there was enough, I mean, you probably yeah. picked up a few screws and nuts and oh, stuff yeah, off the top of the bolts. engine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, this, this is, this has got to have got past the filter. If it, I mean, if, unless it was run okay. at some stage without a filter, you know, just to test it, and that something went went in there. But yeah. that is a that is my biggest worry about at, okay. at the moment. Now, if we could, I'm going to go have a, um, an expert, an engine builder, look at this because we'd probably be able to salvage that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I would like to. Yeah. Rather no. than yeah. because I don't want to replace one piston. You don't no, do no, that. No. You replace yeah. a set. Yeah. yeah. The variants look. Okay. Should it be doing that backwards and forwards on that? What's that? That. That, yeah. Yeah, that's okay, is it? That's the gudgeon pin. It's, got, it to have, it's got to have side float like that. Right. Yeah. No, that, that's, okay. that's, that's absolutely all. fine. Because I know there was a bit of a rattle when it's cold, yeah. this engine, when it was, you know, but people say, oh, it's, you know, I had various sort of opinions from it's just piston slap, they all do that when they're cold, yeah. to all the cement terminal there, you need to sort it out. Yeah, now. I wouldn't um, <laughs> worry too much. I'm going to measure, I haven't measured anything yet. Okay. All I've done is clean, taken it apart and, and cleaned it given it a bit, basic yeah. cleaning. Yeah. I took the valves out this morning. We know that the inlet valves are um, going to be bent. Yeah. Um, the exhaust valves I'm just about to check and the seats. But I was just checking here on the seats that were, um, that had that uh, yeah. piece of uh, whatever, whatever was, foreign yeah. matter. Yeah. In there, and, and, it's, and it, presumably it's gone now. You didn't find it rattling around. No, no, there. no, no. There was nothing, absolutely nothing in there. Yeah. That, that went a long time ago. Yeah. All right. So, so it was that damage was done a while ago. Yes. And then the, whatever it was disappeared a while ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You would okay. never have known about that. Okay. That's good until the piston picked up. Yeah. And seized, you know, and uh, overheated and seized up. And then you didn't know about it. Yes. But luckily, that's luckily been, has. So it's, in a way, it's a good thing that. Yeah that I've had this problem? Yeah. Okay. Because it, yeah, it would have been that, a bigger problem. A, that is a good way of looking at it, because yes. We've got to take some positives. We've got, we've got to take a few positives out of it. Mm. As far as the block and everything goes, I can't see any nasty marks in the board, despite despite having that pickup on so number, no, number so no, four. So nothing, no scratching in the board? No. Oh. What we can do with this is get a, um, a bore, a boring tool and just take those little scratches off. But you can't feel any, you can see where, you see there? Right, a few marks, but you can't feel any. So, all the up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The up yeah. And down marks, yeah, yeah. That is the only thing we can see. But there's absolutely no, you can't feel any, there's just a few marks. Very, very, yeah, very faint, just faint, in one place, isn't it? But that'll yeah. polish out. Yeah, yeah, well, that's good. They'll polish uh, out. So, um, what I intend to do now is check the exhaust valves. I'm not even going to bother, bother checking the inlets because we're yeah, just going to get some. It's just a waste of time. So these are the inlet valves yeah. up over here, and, and no, so these are the, are these. Yeah, beg your pardon. These are the inlets. Yeah. So uh, they're the exhaust. And, and you said the bend would be sort of underneath. Is that? Could you the see bend. It? The bend. No. Um, Bend. The bend is in between there 
on there. Right. So it's not a massive bend, but it's, but it's not it's a massive bend, bend enough, and that's what you check. You know, having checked the valve clearances, that's what you. In fact, you take. in fact, you know what? Even just holding it like this, it's just. Yeah, yeah. So it's a slight you can bend. see yeah, a slight bend, yeah. can't you? If you do look at the top surface, it's sort of. Yeah. 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 And they're all going to be like that. Yes. Yeah. All the ones with a little mark are all going to be like little, that. Yeah. So. So they're cleaner than they were the other day. <laughs> <laughs> There, I mean, given given the sort of crud that picks up on them, is there any point porting and polishing that kind of thing or not? Um, not ported, but the, you know, the just opening them out is no, maybe not opening, opening them, out. them out is good. Right. Polishing and polishing is a load of is it bullshit? Is it? Yeah, because things stick to yeah the surfaces like that. Okay. More so that the but the porting bit, yeah, make making them slightly wider. Yeah, um, slightly bigger. Yeah, that's what that always works. Yeah, but polishing is a just vanity, is it? <laughs> Porting and polish. Yeah. Porting's good. Yeah. Polishing's BS. Yeah. By nature of the fact you've had to strip it down and take out all the pistons, there is a rebuild afoot, but you don't know yet what you've got to replace and re re Exactly. I mean, the bearings look. I'm happy with the bearings. They yeah. look good. Um, you see, to take the, um, the main bearings out, you split the block. Right. Yeah. You to split the block in half, and then, and then really, you know, you've got to. You've really gone the whole hog there. Yeah. So yeah, that's a really, really sort of narrow um, crank sort of uh, sprocket thing, isn't it? Compared yeah, very small. the cam ones, yeah. Small diameter, you mean? Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean, narrow. And that is, the one that, that is the one that jumped a couple of times. Yeah, two, was it? Yeah, well, I reckon around that. Because yeah. I, was, I, was, I was Googling it and I said, well, if it was one, you'd, it'll be a bit lumpy. If it's yeah. two, it sounds horrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it would have been a couple. Yeah. Maybe three, you don't know. Yeah, right. yeah. That feels nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've never had one of these open to know any different, but it doesn't look horrendous in there. That does feels it? nice. Go get, go get a lock a so you'd, you'd, you'd feel it sort of a bit graunchy with oh, your yeah. if it was yeah. bearings and things that have got main bearing gone. Yeah. On normal engines, you get big uh, main bearing caps that are separate, you can take them off separate. On this, it's a whole pan. Right. All the bearings are part of this casting. Yeah. It's a lovely design, very yeah. strong. Yeah. And is it Vauxhall? Originated. Originated. It's General Motors' uh, yeah, or, original yeah. idea, but they didn't used to do. I mean, the block is totally Lotus. Right. Okay. But it, it's, it's designed around. Uh, but that, yeah, inspired that, by. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And there's not much heft to it. I imagine it's a heavy thing. It, but there's, you know, it's. No, it, no, it's just light it's a lightness, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to put a sump. Oh, so it's not just. It's not just a bucket then. It's no, no, no. <laughs> Baffled as well. These are baffles, basically. It's um, <sighs> the oil collects in the side here, right, and and it doesn't splosh around. Yeah. Get in the way of the crank. So um, it's yeah, nice, nice design. Sun. Yeah. I'm just about to pull this, well, I'll pull this off later. A bit of hone out and put new rings in. Yeah. And, and they were just skim or. Seat. Um, so. Would that just be skimmed, or can that just polish out? How, what would does it need to? That doesn't really need. I mean, that, I could get that out, but uh, that's not important because it's in the combustion chamber. You're not. That's yeah. not a mating face. I'm going to um, look at all the valve seats and see whether we need yeah. to get them touched up. So that's okay. what I'm doing now, actually. Okay. So this will be the, the so having you know <laughs> taking it all apart because of this. Yeah. You're now going to start measuring everything and yeah. figuring out what what does and doesn't need replacing, and then so I still don't know. I still don't know what the big number is going to be. If it's going to be a no, big no. number or a Wait, huge. I'm number. going to go and see the engine guy this afternoon or yeah. the machinist, and I'll discuss with him over what we think is the best thing to do. Until that point, I can't really get yeah, there. Point. Yeah. It was really great talking to Clive, looking over the engine block and the head. So it all seemed reasonably positive considering. Uh, but we're still not sure about the damaged piston. So if it does need replacing, it'll probably mean all new pistons and liners, which doesn't sound far short of a full rebuild. And he said this, the bearings seem good at least. 
The full extent of work needed or recommended is still under discussion with the engine machinists. So hopefully in a few days I'll find out the good or the bad news. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps to get YouTube to recommend it to more people. By all means leave a comment, perhaps a message of support or any top tips. I try and reply to them all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.